Brittany Doyle, Detox Success, SEMA 2019. I'm here with some friends of ours. We've got a unique story on how we met, so I want them to introduce themselves to the company. So, ladies first. I'm Shauna Davis from Equalizer Auto Glass Tools, based out of Texas. And I'm Cody Allen. <laughs> so, we were all sitting in Germany, in Frankfurt, Germany. And we started A, uh, you know, I was feeling lonely one day because everybody around us didn't speak English. And I looked over their booth and somebody was wearing cowboy boots. So I figured out right then and there it was an American company. And then I uh, saw a Texas flag. So we came over and we started chatting, we built up a friendship. And it turns out they've got some really innovative tools for doing glass repair. And so as detailers, I thought that was really important. Also, this girl right here, she's a world traveler. I'm sitting in Trinidad last week, and I tagged the hotel man, and she sends me a message. She goes, hey, that's one of the best sushi places in the world. And I was like, you are insane. Uh, so it says how uh, worldly they are, but this is what's really cool. This is the business side of it. Is this is, it's kind of explain this. I was blown away when I saw this. So explain what this is. We're used to taking and fixing a window, having the bridge, all that stuff, right? When we fix the windscreen. Winter repair. So this thing right here, kind of explain what it is and how it works. Uh, this is our latest windshield repair system. It's called the Terminator. Um, it's fully automated, so it takes a lot of the technical work out of it. It allows you to multitask and do other things while it's doing the repair. Um, so other than setting the bridge up and putting the resin into it, the machine does all the work for you. And so it makes, makes it, uh, you know, almost impossible to mess up and it allows anybody to be able to do it while they're doing something else. Cool, so uh, what I like about this is it's all about money. You know, when you're in business and stuff, I mean, it's great, and you're just getting started, they've got some really nice bridges and so forth for doing standard repairs. What I like about this is you can make money while you're making money. And so, whether you're a PPF shop, whether you're a detail shop, my voice is gone, by the way, uh, you can take and bring this into your operation and it's gonna simplify what you do. Especially if you're a one, two, or three man shop, your small shop, is this is just taking and getting another set of hands without having to hire somebody to actually do it. So, Cody, you wanna show us how it works? Sure. So, uh, you don't have to do as far as the drilling and what a lot of people think that you need to do. Um, start off the repair, just try to get some of the loose glass out of it. Just to make sure that the finished repair will be flawless. We need to brush the debris out of there. And then we're going to go ahead and put our injector bridge on. So this is the most labor labor we're going to do the whole the whole time is just the actual setup of it. So we're going to. I'm ultimately lazy, so if uh, it's less work, that's better. How long while you're doing that? How long does it take to really master this? I mean, to get better at it. I mean, is it a complicated system to set up? It's one of the easiest ones. It's the easiest one out there because, as far as the technical part of it, as long as you can set it up and center it. Um, it takes all the actual training and, and skill out of having to do it because it's going to do it all for you. So uh, one of your guys' wild trips, you guys actually invented this over dinner. I'm taking it. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Was it an idea, concept? Yeah, just trying to make it um, easier for the technicians so they could be hands-free. That's cool, man. That's cool. So now that we have the bridge on ready to go, we're going to put our resin in. Just depending on the repair, um, depends on how much resin you're going to use. What's your average cost for resin on a repair like this? What are you looking at investment wise? <laughs> um, as far as per repair, um, generally your cost wise, you're in it um, per repair less than five bucks. Less than five bucks. So you've got very little labor, you've got very little cost. Labor is the expensive part, but you're kind of taking that out of it. So now that we have it set up, we're going to turn the machine on. And then we're going to go through our cycle. We're going to select what repair we're doing. We're doing a combination break here. And so you can go through. There's a couple different cycles you can run. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start the combination one. It takes 12 and a half minutes to run. You just push start, and now it's going to do it for you. And it will take you from a fully damaged one to something that you can't even see anymore for the most part. So now after this repair is done, is it going to spread anymore? Is it going to stop the spreading? It's not going to spread anymore. So this is designed to keep it from spreading and cracking so you don't have to replace it right away. Um, and it's it's going to make it so it looks better. It's never going to be 100%. There'll be a scar there, but yeah. it's, it's going to look Absolutely. a lot better, make it not noticeable on the cars. Resin wise, is it, do you guys offer just a single resin for most breaks or is there multiple types of resins that you're going to use? 
So there's all different kinds of resins, just depending on the temperature you're working in. Climate takes effect as far as the hot or cold, thick or thin. Um, we have some tinted resins that are some different colors uh, right. that'll help me match shade bands and that kind of stuff. So it um, really just depends on the application you're using for. Interesting. So learning curve on this, is there online learning or what? how do you learn to use the system? Yeah, lots of Guides and things like that. Also, our technical team is available. You know, we definitely believe anybody that's going to buy an equalizer product, they want to, right. they want to make sure that they know how to use it. That's pretty cool. That. That's pretty cool. So, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually let this thing cure out. You're going to show us how to finish these steps at the very end. Right? Yeah, well, we're done. All we're going to do is we're going to put a, a little bit of pit filler in there to finish the final pit off, and we're going to cure it with a light. Light that comes in the kit is the latest light out. Um, it's fully LED and it runs for 55 seconds. When it's done, it shuts itself oh, off so you know when it's done. Um, rechargeable, so you just put it on there, let it do its thing, and then you scrape off the rest of the resin and, and then you're done with the repair. Check this out. I mean, is that cool or what, man? So how long is it going to take in the cure time with this light? 55 seconds. So a minute, man. Um, now, can you, guys, you know, we're talking about a single person shop. Mm -hmm. What happens if they leave it on a little longer? Well, it doesn't hurt because it turns off by itself. Ah, so as soon as it's done, as soon as it's done running, it'll shut itself off. Okay, I'm not uh, the smartest guy, but I do that. <laughs> well, almost it started bleaking. I was like, okay, I'm gonna walk away. You know, so it's, that's an inside joke. We've got somebody that we call Boom Boom in our group, so just saying. But uh, that is too cool. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take we'll take a little break. We'll come back, and you're gonna show us how to finish it up. That is too cool. Okay, we'll see you in a couple minutes. All right, so Cody, we've got the uh, the initial repairs done, so we're going to go ahead and remove it now, show us what we got. Yep. So let's check we'll it out. finish it off, so we'll you see take it off and make sure we don't switch styles here. So the time was, how, how long was it from the time that we just... It was 12, uh, 12 and a half minute cycle. 12 and a half minutes. So... And look how small that is now. Which one was it? This one. We're going to add, this is just a, a pit filler that's going to finish off the surface pit to make it perfectly smooth. So we're going to put that on. Put our curing tape on. Then our light's going to go on for 55 seconds. We'll yeah, let that we're run. See the hey, Chris, if you come over to this side, come on over and see if you can really cool thing with the light on it. See how very little of the of the that was a massive that was a massive strike. So we'll come back here in a second. We'll show you the finished uh, finished product when it's done curing. All right, so here we go. How many seconds? Basically a minute. Yeah, 55 seconds, basically a minute. Go ahead and move, the, take the light off. We're gonna take our tab off. We gotta scrape the residual off. That's always a wonderful sound. Yeah. Nails on a chalkboard. Yeah, it's like, whoa. I've got a lot of patience. Wow, look at the difference on that, huh? So a final step on this is to finish it to get rid of that milky film. Is it just a little bit of polish that we're gonna put on there? One of your buffers do this? We got a brand new one that will do a great job. That's pretty cool, man. Look at that, huh? So now that that's there. Wow, look at the difference there, so. huh? The final chip was actually right here. And it was the size of this one right here when you guys started. So there's comparison from this to that. And it was automated. It took no, uh, took no time. So. Well, guys, thanks for doing this. Uh, we're going to take, we'll put more information out. Again, how do they get a hold of you guys? Equalizer.com is probably the best resource. Um, follow us on our Facebook pages, Equalizer Auto Bus Tools. And then you got distributors worldwide, yes. so you guys can get product out to anybody from there. Right. So we're, uh, we're some shows. You're actually at SEMA. We met you guys at Auto Mechanica. Yes. So what, uh, what other shows do you guys go to here in the U.S.? We do the New Jersey show, the, the Northeast ASP. Okay. Um, Autobus week, which is um, Autobus related, and they also have attending and things like that. Um, that's in Orlando, Florida in September of next year. Um, Auto Mechanica in Germany. Huge, back September. That's it. That's it. We're back. Great. So, yeah, and a few places around. Usually it's distributor based shows that we do. Right. Um, a lot of our body shop distributors, um, Autobus distributors, and things like that's that. That's cool. Shows on board. Right on. All right, guys. Well, hey, I'm ready to go. Detail success. Thank you guys for yeah, your time. Sure you, appreciate it. So uh, we will see you guys soon. Happy detailing, everybody. SEMA 2019. See ya.